around you seems to spin faster and faster, till everything is a blur. Yet there's a cushion of calm at the center of your life, where you live in union with me. Return to this soothing center as often as you can, for this is where you are energized, filled with my love, joy and peace. The world is a needy place. Do not go there for sustenance. Instead, come to me. Learn to depend on me alone and your weakness will become saturated with my power. When you find your completeness in me, you can help other people without using them to meet your own needs. Live in the light of my presence, and your light will shine brightly into the lives of others. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I'll boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and His love is made complete in us. 1 John chapter 4, verse 12 March 10 you are mine for all time and beyond time into eternity. No power can deny you your inheritance in heaven. I want you to realize how utterly secure you are. Even if you falter as you journey through life, I'll never let go of your hand. Knowing that your future is absolutely assured can free you to live abundantly today. I prepared this day for you with the most tender concern and attention to detail. Instead of approaching the day as a blank page that you need to fill up, try living it in a responsive mood. Being on the lookout for all that I'm doing, this sounds easy, but it requires a deep level of trust based on the knowledge that my way is perfect. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. Kept in heaven for you, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-4 to 4. If the Lord delights in a man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Psalms chapter 37, verses 23-24 to 24. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He's a shield for all who take refuge in Him. Psalms chapter 18, verse 30. March 11. Walk by faith, not by sight. As you take steps of faith depending on me, I will show you how much I can do for you. If you live your life too safely, you will never know the truth of seeing me work through you. When I gave you my spirit, I empower you to live beyond your natural ability and strength. That's why it's so wrong to measure your energy level against the challenges ahead of you. This issue is not your strength, but mine, which is limitless. By walking close to me, you can accomplish my purpose, sirs, in my strength. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 25. But I'll sing of your strength. In the morning, I'll sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. O my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O God, are my fortress, my loving God. Psalms chapter 59, verse 16 to 17. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm excited about today's worship. And let me get this prepared for all of us. It's really, really exciting piece of worship. Here we go. It's going to be super fast paced. Three, two, one.
Powerful, powerful worship. Let's close our eyes with a prayer. Oh yes, Lord, we want to see Moses. And we come before you, Lord. We pray that just as Moses opened up the Red Sea, 
Give us this chance, O oh Lord. Open up the Red Sea in our hearts. Open it up. We want to see Moses, just as you have shown Moses the miracles when they cross over to the Red Sea. So show us, O oh Lord. We ask for your blessing in all areas of our lives. And we commit to you, all will be well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again real soon. Goodbye and God bless you.